old looking architecture here. My first walkabout this morning. So we'll walk down the street and see if it is as interesting as I think it is. And it looks like it is. It's all looking very neat as the Swiss are apt to do. Most anywhere else you would call this condition restoration. Here, I'm sure they call it ongoing maintenance. Looking down a side street, Now notice this is all cement and or stucco or plaster, but it's interesting character. Most of the architecture that I'll call modern has no character other than that specific modern feel, which in my mind is cold, impersonal, utilitarian. Another pretty old side street. And we'll go down and look at the corner building because I think it may be quite interesting. A very pretty building indeed. But notice it's the upper stories. They get it all. Notice this bike rack puts the bikes at alternating high and low positions to get more bikes in. And you can actually adjust that <coughs> bike holding mechanism. Here a pretty park that serves some of these old buildings and the people who live or work in them. I would bet the streets surrounding this park have probably always been popular and beautiful. It's too bad there's a building like this that destroys the overall feel of this neighborhood. And now I'll turn into a lovely building. We'll back up and get a better. This is called the Gutenberghof, whatever that refers to. Probably in its day, if not now, gave spectacular views over the city. And this little cupola provides a pleasant little mini garden atmosphere, I suspect. They're even steep rooftops and lots of balconies for cat burglars to romp out on. Sets a nice atmosphere of an old hotel. Probably a lovely place to stay. Probably significantly upgraded from its past. Today we're going to follow the Luzerne Guide city guide walking tour and we're going to begin down in the lower right where you see the eye for information and we're in front of the train station now we're going to wrap around that rectangle and then across and then stay on the side of the river and work our way this way until we cross the river and we may make a couple of crossings anywhere as we do some of the historical bridges like this one that you see angling to the right across that patch of blue water. As I walk around, particularly on the first walkabout, I try to look at landmarks and see if my feeble brain can record them because that'll help to build my mental map. It says, welcome in Luzerne. Here from the front of this arch with the train station in the background and behind me is the landing dock for the tourist boats that tour 
Lake Lucerne. That's what they call a bus. <laughs> and this is the Museum of Art for Lucerne. I don't have much interest in art. An impressive looking structure, new. I don't know if that's a yacht or a tour boat down there. Well, I don't dislike art. I really only have a penchant for Renaissance art. Our first good view of Lake Lucerne. Look how close in those green hills are, unblemished by structures yet. Look at that castle up on top. 